Welcome back boys and girls to another edition and another show for the Archer's Titbits leather thumb protection and this is now iteration 3 so to say actually it's number 4 uh, you saw the video of the thumb protector I used now for a while which is really good already but this one is now a complete new one when you see we have now on the on the wristband here the small extension parts where the cords line in and when you see the thumb protector by itself is now here way longer and look how much easier it is to put this thumb protector into place look i can pull on this like like on a shoe look at this like this and it's done and when i'm done here so you, even to tighten everything up it's so easy see and then you pull on it look at this and then obviously this one here you tuck this small bit underneath here and look at this how tight and how solid and secure this thing sits doesn't go anywhere you have these four straps coming down here. Yes, that's so cool. How he always gets up with something new. What I like is that this goes very far back there. So here is the groove of my thumb. So I have this whole part here where the string can slide in and I still have, you know, I don't get stuck there. And this one just lines up nicely, feels like it wants to be there. Well, that should. Um, and as I mentioned already with the other thumb protector, this one, when you have it on, it's you forget about it. And in my way of shooting, as you know, I simply slide here forward, jump over the string with my thumb. With this one, it's totally no problem. I don't get stuck, nothing. And then it simply works. See, you really forget that you have it on. And this one stays solidly in place. So this is really a nice improvement. Really good. Poundage wise again I would say 40-45 pounds. You start feeling it already even with this one here. So mm -hmm. oh there's an arrow missing. Oh, I lost an arrow. We'll find it later. <coughs> but for sure you can have this double up version with a second layer in so for higher poundages and all this stuff. Yada yada yada. Simply ask Tom. Does really a perfect job for me right now. My favorite, I have to admit. And it's so easy to put on and put off, so it's, see, nothing interferes. You really forget that you have it on. And it's, it's a nice, you know, it looks fancy. Of course, you could go and cut a, a, a leather glove, whatever, and, and, you know, of course you could do this, but, you know, this is simply made for it and perfected for its purpose. And that's why I like. And price-wise, I think 35, 40 euros or something. I think it's just fine for a nice handmade product which really does the job. See the string is far away from the edge so I have here really room to play. I don't have to worry that I come behind the, the thumb, uh, behind the leather. It's just nice. And then of course you can have it with all these decorations and different colors and whatever. Really, really nice. And when you are done, look at this. How easy peasy you undo this one. You undo this, you undo this a bit, especially with my thick fingers, you know. And then, it's, it's, it's easy once you do it a few times. Look, I only don't want to ruin it and it's done. And with this version, there is no confusion. And with the other one, you always needed to think, how do I need to put it on? This is really easy. You have these parts, they always point forwards. The open part is on top, you slide in and you have your thumb in. It's easy to put on and put off, so it's not that confusing anymore. Really nice improvement. Very well done, Tom. I leave the link to Tom in the description. Simply check him out. 
Very good, me likey. But I'm not done yet. The other exciting development, of course, I asked Tom now, look, now we have nice thumb protectors. What we would need is now for the ones they shoot Slavic. There are not so many. Of course, you can get again a normal glove and simply cut the index finger off or you leave it on. But then when you handle the arrows, you have here always a little too much leather. It's always a little fiddly. Look what he did, what he came up with. And I guess it's the same. I think it's like, oh wait. So look, this is in the back here. And these two are in the front. And look what we are doing now. We put this on here. Putting it on is almost kind of in the same way. You put the wristband around and then you put this one on your ring finger and this one on your middle finger, you know, the most used finger of them all. So it's a little fiddly, but you get there. So no, this is the best way, simply grabbing it and pulling it backwards there. So. But of course you could untie it a little first and it makes your life easier. But I thought I go the fast way and then it takes longer. This is what you get. So. Come. Go in my friend. So it takes a bit. So but once you're in it, you feel very mm, so. And then of course the same as usual, look at this. Huh? Isn't that awesome? Then of course you only have two hands. Do it like this. And we tuck this underneath here. So you do it a few times and then it gets easier with time. And they don't go anywhere now. They are nice tight there. And what I like is that you have the other finger still free for your shooting. It's like even if you want to shoot this way, see I with my thumb and my index, I still have nice control. I don't have any leather parts around these two fingers, so I have really nice control to keep everything in place. And then I have my two fingers, which needs protection. Tuck, easy peasy. Look at this. So cool. Tip is loose. See? Makes your life really, really easy. I like it. And again, here you have the, the poundish distribution on two fingers, so even this one here, no problem. You can handle the arrows easy because these two fingers are free. So you really have your two draw fingers. It's really cool. Nice! Oh, with long arrows like this. Eh? See, I can hold them here as I want. Bloop. Drop it down, they land on the leather. Dong, we stone pebble stuff. Boom, no problem. <laughs> really, really cool. So I like this. And of course, once you're done, whoosh, untie it here, untie it here. You can loosen up these ones a bit here. Zack, 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 zack. So. The first special extra made protector for, I call it the Slavic release, of course you can call it how you want. Some people don't like this term Slavic or Slav. I don't care for me, it's a Slavic release, so I know that I shoot like Mediterranean, but with the arrows on the right side of the door with these two fingers, and that's all for me, and for declaration it's fine. Nothing racist, nothing, I don't say that I give all the credits to the Slavs or whatever. It's simply for me Slavic release. This is a really pretty well done and again it's not very confusing to put on. You simply have now these ears. They always point towards your fingers. The open part is on top. You simply slide in and put this on your two fingers and tighten everything up and then you do it a few times and it comes completely natural and then again you can have them in with these nice decorations and color patterns and everything. So really, Tom, I'm very proud of you what you are doing. Nice. Of course, one could think now that you could use this as a base version and then you simply attach either these two fingers or the thumb protector or what is coming now for your index, for your string twist. But eh, 
we see in the future there's something coming, so stay tuned. I don't want to take all the joy away already now. So, Tom, thank you very much for sending them to me. If you're interested, I leave the link in the description to Archer's Titbits. Then you get in contact. He, he is already quite busy with making them, so really, really nice. Thank you very much for watching. Catch you in the next one.